Okay, the final two things we need to do in exercise number two is we need to define the stationing for our alignment. We also need to annotate it. So by default, when we created the alignment, the default stationing was set for zero. So we want to create the stationing with a start station of 50 plus zero, zero. So to do that, we're going to go back up to the geometry tab and we're going to go under modify and we're going to go select the start station tool. When we do that, we're going to be prompted to locate our element. So we're going to go here and we're going to locate our London Road alignment. Then we're going to get a heads up prompt that's going to be asking us for the start distance. So we're going to key in zero and press enter on the keyboard to lock it in and left click to accept. Key in the start station of 50 plus 00, zero left click to accept it and the stationing will be defined. To check it and verify it we're going to go up to the element selection tool we're going to select the alignment and then notice now the beginning station is exactly 50 plus 00. zero. Additionally what we can do is if we hover our cursor over the alignment the context sensitive menu will come up and we can go directly to our horizontal geometry report and review the beginning station there as well. So you can see it's at 50 plus 00. zero. So let's close the report browser and left click anywhere in the view to deselect our alignment. Okay let's finish up this exercise and learn how to annotate our horizontal alignment. So the first thing we need to do is set the annotation scale. So we're going to go up to the drawing tab locate our annotation scale lock and I want to set that for 1 inch equals 100. This controls the size of the text that will be displayed along the alignment. And then the next thing I want to do is go over to the drawing production tab and select annotate element. So to do that it's going to be prompting me to locate the element so I'm going to locate my horizontal alignment and then I'm going to right click to accept it and complete the annotation. As you can see it did a pretty nice job of annotating our alignment. So now the alignment's annotated. The thing to point out the annotation is defined by an annotation group which is set up with the feature definition and the text size is controlled by the annotation scale that we selected. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.